This video is brought to you by G24 News. Islam is the second largest religion in the world. It is a religion based on the principles of peace and unity. Yet the Western world portrays Muslims as people who are responsible of terrorism and crime. So why does the majority of Muslims suffer in the world? We know more about this violation of rights of a human from the incident of a young girl named Muskan Khan in India. India is home to 10.9% of the world's Muslim population and even in this modern era Muslims are deprived of their rights of security and justice. This young girl went to her college where a group of attackers and protesters followed her and blocked her way to enter the campus. She was told to either take off her hijab or she won't be allowed to enter. This brave girl still managed to come inside but the protesters followed her. Then the protesters started yelling, go take off the hijab, but she didn't back down and still she stood there with her hijab on. She started chanting Allahu Akbar and she was one against many of the Hindus who said that she had to take off her hijab. It started when students at a pre-university college, equivalent to a high school, in Karnataka's Udupi district, began protesting last month over a ban on headscarves the college said students could wear the hijab on campus but not in the classroom. Since then this issue started to rise and the protesters from both sides wanted the media to hear what they were saying. Hijab is the right of a woman, if she wants to wear her hijab. No man on earth can say she can't. She can wear anything she wants as long as it doesn't goes against the law. But this girl was forced to take off her hijab. The staff of the institution supported her and protected her but a large number of people were standing against her. This video has been viral all over the internet and people agreeing with her that she can wear anything she wants. Yet the Hindu locals and even her classmate were protesting against her to take off her headscarf. The situation was orchestrated mostly by men who were outsiders and not students. The young girl when asked about that said quote, yes, I did scream Allahu Akbar. When I get scared, I call out to Allah and it gives me strength. She said, so, I am just standing up for my rights. He single-handedly changed the perspective of millions of people, showcasing what a woman is capable of. Irrespective of religion, language and caste. The people who were against her were standing with red saffron shawls. A color associated with Hinduism and Hindu nationalist groups they started shouting, Victory to Lord Ram. But this young girl stood with bravery. This is how Muslims girls are forced to not follow their religion. And many times this lead to violence. Humiliation of Muslims is now a political landscape. Many times Hindu locals and even the police have threatened the Muslims. Many times there was violence. These violent people in India who not only lets the Muslims with peace but they even assault them. Mentally they are pressurized to stop practicing Islam. They even torture these innocent Muslims who stand up for their rights. And all of this news never shown to the world. The true face of the society is always hidden and India denies all the allegations and charges. Muslims who protest for their rights are arrested. Peace was never an option there for the locals. No justice was ever made for the Muslims and are forced to stop practicing their religion. This is the side of the hypocrite media who always show Muslims as offenders, yet in real they are the victims. Keep watching G24 News and help us showing what the truth is. Subscribe and press the bell icon.